Hi guys, hope you all are well. Welcome to my channel, Shutapad Banerjee, and I am Shutapad Atta. Today we are starting a very exciting, very important part of the biology, that's the genetics. Okay, I think like me, you are also excited with this topic because genetics is such a subject, anyone can love it. Anyone has to love it if they can understand the subject. It's a conceptual chapter completely, so observe it with full attention as it is required for many important branches of biology okay? and it is a very important and developing subject today. Now genetics number one video because genetics is a very long topic, we can't complete it in a single video, rather we have to make a number of, it is a series of videos and you will I think you will get interest and you will follow all the videos. <clears throat> this is the genetics one. Now, this subject deals with the inheritance of the characteristics from one generation to other as well as about the variations between parents and offsprings. As uh, in uh, by, by variation only the new species can be formed in evolution. So after this genetics ultimately we have to go to the evolution. So genetics serves in evolution. Now what is in genetics? This is the science of inheritance of characters mostly. But what is gene? <clears throat> About the gene, there are many concepts you have already as gene the term is very popular among you but where it locates? It locates inside the chromosome. Where the chromosome stay? Chromosome remain within the nucleus. So the location of the gene is inside the nucleus in the form of DNA. So what is DNA? Now if we just break the chromosome, next one is two chromatids then if we break the chromatids you can get chromatin fiber and if we break that we shall get the DNA so chromatin fibers are made up of DNA Chromatids are made up of chromatin fiber and chromosomes are made up of chromatids. So this is the sequence. <coughs> now what is gene? If I tell that gene is the genetic material, it's not the complete identity of the gene. Suppose I am telling who is Gita or Shita, the, the name of the girl. Gita is a girl. It's not the complete identity. We have to get the complete identity about um, that girl, that where she uh, lives, where she study, if she studying something, in which class she studied, what which subject she is studying, and etc. Address of her, name of the father and mother. So uh, many informations. Suppose in other girl. You get, you give all the informations like this. Then only you will be considered as the. We can say that the we consider the position of you in the country, or status of you in the country. Now, like this, gene has complete identity. As it's very important, it has complete identity that gene. What is gene? Then we can say it's located in chromosome made up of 
न्यूक्लियोटाइड न्यूक्लियोटाइड ट्रांसमिट फ्रॉम द कैरेक्टर्स फ्रॉम वन जनरेशन टू अदर वन जनरेशन टू अदर एक्सप्रेस इट्स फंक्शन इन द फॉर्म ऑफ इंजाइन expresses its function in the form of enzyme so there are many informations so how you will recall it later that you will break it like it's located in chromosome number 1 point Number two made up of nucleotide. Number three transmit the character from characters from one generation to other. Number four expresses its function in the form of enzyme. So um, when you will write the definition, you will uh, you have to gather all these informations. But when you study at home, then you will recall this in this manner. Okay, in four parts like that. It will be easier for you to. Uh, Recall. <coughs> Now the next term is alin. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> What is alin? In lower classes, you have studied about the. allotropes of carbon so alin is like that alternative forms of gene first thing is that it's the alternative forms of genes <coughs> they are located on the same loci of the loci is lo the plural form of locus same loci of the homologous chromosome same loci of the homologous chromosome affecting the same trait trait but differently all informations are very important for alin as in higher classes also the students can't tell about what is alin in graduation in post graduation also the concept of alin is very important but the concept is very puzzling to many of the students so you just keep all the informations in this manner alternative forms of gene are totally alternative forms like carbon alternative forms of the carbon like diamond graphite cone etc <coughs> these are also alternative forms of gene so they are basically gene nothing but the gene they are located on the same loci of the homologous chromosome now what is homologous chromosome two homologous chromosome means suppose these two chromosomes one we are getting from
from father side and another from mother side. <coughs> if this is maternal chromosome, it's paternal chromosome. It's from father and it from it's from mother. So these are the homologous chromosomes. They have the same length, <coughs> same length, same diameter, same everything same. And the characters they are containing these are also same. Suppose in one, this is the gene for the height. And this is for tallness. And here also it will be like the height, but it's dwarfness. It will indicate the dwarfness. So they are located on the same loci. This is the loci, locus, and of the homologous chromosome. Same locus means both are in the same distance from the centromere. Affecting the same trait, the trait is here height. The same trait, the trait is here height but differently. One is making it tall and another is making it dwarf. So this is about the whole concept of alien. Now what is genotype and what is phenotype? These are very basic terms I am giving you. Firstly then we shall enter inside the depth of genetics. Next we are going to the another basic term that is genotype and phenotype. This is my introductory video of the genetics. So here we shall discuss all the terminologies which is required in this part. And what is genotype and phenotype? Genotype is the genetic constitution of the organism. Genetic constitution of any organism. And phenotype is the external manifested characters externally manifested characters of the organism manifested characters of organisms so genetic constitution of any organism we can't see without any unaided eye it's not possible not observable by unaided eye Like for to know this, we have to either crossbreeding, perform the crossbreeding or microscopic study. These are required here to know it. But for the phenotype, it's quite it's the externally manifested characters, so we can observe it, observe it by unaided eye, by unaided eye. Now when we shall study about the 
monohybrid cross uh, of Mendel. Firstly, I am giving the introduction about Mendel. Mendel is Gregor Jehan Mendel. Gregor Johan Mendel is the father of genetics. He performed many experiments on pea plants and according to his first experiment that is the monohybrid cross there the genotypic ratio is 1 is to 2 is to 1 and phenotypic ratio is 3 is to 1. So today that's all as this is the introduction, introductory um, uh, video of the genetics and in the next videos we shall go through the total genetics and I shall give you a list, list also uh, where you will get all the informations about different topics of genetics. So today, bye.